Howdy, howdy. Hope you're doing well. This is going to be a quick tip on how to resize your tracks in Logic Pro. A couple different ways to do this. Um, one way to size tracks is just by clicking this button here, up or down. And there can be a key command for that. Um, I have it set to control option and I hit the up and down arrow. Um, you can set that to whatever you want. The way you would find that is if you go to key commands, edit, Um, you're going to want to search zoom vertical, and if you see here, I've got, got it set to this key command. So you can change it to whatever you want, but for me, it's control option up and down arrow. Another thing you can do is if you, if you hold down, um, like if you're on a laptop, if you hold down option and you just uh, swipe like with two fingers up and down, left and right, it'll resume like that. Or if you're on a mouse, I believe if you hold down Alt or Option and scroll up or down, it'll resize the tracks. So that is that is one way. Um, another way is you can manually drag and click between the lines like this to whatever you want, which is cool. But the only downside is is they're going to stay this size in relation to everything else. So if if I continue to move the tracks up and down, they're, they're going to stay to their relative size. And that drives me nuts. You may love that. So if you want to fix that, all you want to do is hit Shift. And you need to go put the cursor right between the tracks where you get this, this icon. Hold Shift and click, and it will restore the tracks to their original size. Kind of cool, right? Um, Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about that. That's how you uh, size and resize your tracks in Logic Pro. If it was helpful to you, um, feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below. And as always, have an awesome one wherever you are. Catch you on the next one. Bye.